Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Signalis. So in the last episode we descended even lower into the facility, and we also found this flashlight module, which we can now use to see better in the dark, and we can also use this to enter through certain doors that has some sort of light sensors on them. So yeah, without further ado... Oh, I, I don't want to unequip it. So without further ado, uh, how did I... Oh, use. Oh, cut them it. There. So without further ado, let's go and enter, the, enter those dark rooms. Do we have any on this level? Um, I... No, I don't think so. So let's go... So this is the fifth floor, and this is the sixth. Was there any on this level? Mm -hmm. Couldn't open that. What was in here? Ah, oh, there's a blockade here. Up here. Oh, owl key required. Okay, fair enough. Oh, it's in this room. I don't think I have killed them here. No, they are still standing. Well, I did put them down once, but then they came back up. Repair bay, and that's a... Oh yeah, that's a dark room. That's a dark room, so let's go there. <laughs> Hi. What was my ammo situation again? Uh, I got uh, eight shots. That's just fine. And as for items, I got this healing item, that, and. Shutter gate, uh, gate handle. Where did, where did we need this again? I forgot. Oh, there's a prod, but I can't pick it up right now because I'm full on everything. Hmm? There was another one. Shotgun ammo and magnum ammo, but I can't pick it up. What do we have here? 8421C. Are these scores? 6 out of 60. Yeah, this this must be scores that they that they got at this shooting range. What do we have here? Adhesive tape. And what is this? Weapon case. Hmm. And it seems to be locked. There's a padlock there. Shit, why did I why did I have so why did I take so much shit with me? Where is the Oh, there you are. So that's where you were. Okay, so what what I need to do is to Why the hell did I, why the hell did we use this? We did run into a place where this kind of handle was needed, but I don't remember where it is. So I'm have to Hmm. Maybe I'm have to put this away as well as this until I find until we reach the place where we need that handle. Yeah. Let's go and get rid of some of that stuff. Alright, we got some more room, but not enough for everything. So let's just pick up this tape. And then this weapon case. Maybe we got a magnum in, magnum in here. A secure storage box for pistol-sized firearms, locked with a small padlock. Hmm. EUK 500 S Einhorn Hunter. It's locked with a small padlock. And I don't have the key for it, of course. Oh, I forgot I... Oh, I only put one of these things away. Shit. Okay, well, we have to come for this ammo later. We don't even have a gun that uses that kind of ammo yet, anyway. Shame that we can't pick up this prod. Was there any other... 
I believe that there was another safe room somewhere in the lower levels, so I'm, I might as well go there. Once I find my way there. Okay, was there any dark rooms here? No. But we can... Not through there. But we can get down this way. Another prod. If only I had put... Hmm. Huh, if only I, I had put both of these things away. Somehow I, I only put one of them away. Or well, at least I believe I, I at least I believe I had two of these, and now I just have one. Hmm. Well, let's go. Huh, that that thing is uh, is back up, but that's fine. And here, there's a dark room to our left. No safe rooms here. Hmm, what's that? Oh, ammo. Hand can ammo, but don't have room. Anything else interesting here that we can pick up? Where does this take us? Hmm. Can't you go there? Oh, there's nothing. Okay, I don't know what that what, what that space is. And what do we have here? I see. I see one of those creatures uh, in front of us. Actually, is there more? Well, I can see only one for now. Island key. Okay. Oh. What about these uh, papers? Colibri in the management office. One of the Colibris has holed herself up in the management office on the seventh floor. I have seen her and her illusion sitting inside the room, crying. Which one is the real one? What the hell is a Colibri? Well, I know that Colibri is a bird, but I doubt that they are talking about just a mere bird. I think it's because of that painting in there. It must be that painting that has that keyhole in it. That red keyhole that we saw in the last episode. Uh, it was in Adler's... Was it Adler's office? Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted by the image of that island. Yeah, it must be that painting. It was a painting of an island. The sensation was strong enough to make me hurl. Is there a way to neutralize the transmission? Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal. Feedback loop of the frequency. Okay, well that's that's an important clue. Handgun ammo? Yes. Take that, and what do we have here? Hunter's key. Ah, oh, it must be for this. It must be for this. Einhorn Hunter, yes. But I... I can't... I can't pick it up because I'm too full, goddammit. What do we have here? Wiege der Menschheit, Vineta. Cradle of Humanity, Vineta. Okay. Are those like skyscrapers coming out of the ocean? Okay. Maybe it's a planet of uh, just full of water and has no actual land. A landmass that's that's above the water level. Okay, and uh, what else? Oh, there's the island painting that was just mentioned. Okay, I kind of need. I got uh, eight shots, and if I. Combined, combined with this, I got three shots left. A transparent polypropo... A transparent polypropylene-based pressure-sensitive tape that can be used for joining, sealing, attaching, and mending. Okay. 
Not sure what to do with this yet. If only there was a... There's no item box or anything else like that. Hmm. Should I go all the way back and put some shit away? Oh, we can also use this. Okay, what was in here? There's the star briefing room. Okay, there's big dark room over there. Might as well go and check that one out. Oh yeah, there was quite a quite a few enemies in this room. Hmm, that looks like a key card over there. That looks like shotgun ammo. Oh, ouch. Ouch. I didn't pick it up, god damn it. That one with the shield is a bit of a problem. Ouch. God, God, God damn it, just ouch. Alright, I uh Okay, um I need to put I need to use that, but I can't in the middle of this darkness. Well it doesn't seem to be that necessary right now. We got them. And I have no health items with me because I was thinking that uh, that I'll run into some more health items. Anyway, I need to use this next time when we are somewhere with light. Uh, no, let's not pick it up. And what is this? Repair spray, yes. Repair spray plus. There we go. It was in a key after all. Restores a medium, medium amount of health instantly. Sure, use it. And what do we have here? A replica overview. Uh, SDCR, aka Storage. And once again, yet another impossibly long German uh, word that I can't possibly uh, pronounce. Security Technician Controller Replica Stork. Type Generation 5 Combat Lead Unit. Frame Biomechanical with polyethylene shell and bullet resistant armor plating. Height 240 centimeters. Each cadre of protector security technicians is overseen by a controller unit, the most common of which is the SDCR Stork type. One of the tallest replica models thanks to their extended legs, Storks figuratively and literally keep a constant bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them the perfect fit as unwavering sentinels of order. Okay. Let's leave that shotgun ammo over there. That's handgun ammo. And this is the magnum-ish ammo, yes. And this is repair spray, okay. Uh, large amount of health. Shit, I shouldn't have picked this one up. I'm full again. Is there anything else, like, important? Or is this basically just a big-ass room, room with lots of uh, supplies? Looks like it. But shit, I shouldn't have picked that uh, one up. Pick, I, should, I shouldn't have picked this one up. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is to go back to my... Actually, can we go even lower? Like this, so I don't need, need to use the stairs. Um, no. Okay. Alright, so I guess I have to go back to my... Back to our safe room and put put some more shit in uh, shit into the uh, into the item box and, and then I come back here and get the key. All right, and we are back. I also I also went went to pick some of the 
ammo and other stuff that we found earlier and went to take those to the island box as well. So the island key, that goes to the painting no doubt, so we're gonna take that. And then this. And then let's use this to open this. Created revolver. Mm, inspect. EUK 508S Ironhorn, high damage, knocks back enemies and shields with ease. Ah, so this, this can even mm, break through shields. That's very good. And it got six bullets in it already. Okay, nice. So that's essentially this game's magnum. Okay, um... Might as well pick up this ammo here since we are most likely not, not coming back here. But now, let's go and use the key on the uh, painting. It was on this floor, right? Uh, yes, it's over uh, all the way over there. I really don't feel like wasting my... Actually, do I have a... Yes, I have one of these. Equip this. I don't want to use it on, it on that, but... Oh. Oh, fuck. Take that. Okay, I guess I used it after all. Guess I used it. Okay, we are still... We are at caution, but that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I should... Should be very easy to dodge her. Like that. Alright, so... Let's use the key on this. Use island key? Yes. Hmm, what do we have here? Workshop key. Nice. Okay, uh, so we have one free slot. Okay. Now, where was the workshop? Was it here? On this level? Mm, no. Could I check the other... Can I even check the other floors? Yeah, uh, on this map when I'm not on the when I'm not on the set set floors. Oh yes, change floors. Um, hmm. Workshop hallway. Oh, it's that yellow door over there. Okay, so we have to go to the one floor up. I believe that the stairs were over here. Yes. Alright, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, it's this door here. Oh, wait. Ah, it was over there. Okay. But I ha I'm, I'm have to touch my way through these three. Oh, that should be easy. Not really as much touching as just running around them. Okay, it's uh this one here. It says work work start. Well there we go. Okay, plenty of stuff here. And we have handgun ammo, yes, pick it up. Yes, we're gonna carry 20 of these at max in one stack, I believe. Looks like a radio. Is there anything else of uh, important that, that I need to pick up? Well, I have two slots, so I guess we can pick this one up as well. We got plenty of uh, plenty of revolver ammo. And there's a note here. Replica known issues part 2. Did we miss part 1? Classified information, commander eyes only. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. 
well, someone didn't, didn't follow that order. Star. Despite their normally laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit, or promoting a unit low in status, can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. It is recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. Hmm, very interesting stuff. SDCR. Storage units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with an older star unit. Storch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Um, okay. Books on history or mythology works well as fetish objects. Fetish objects? What the hell do they mean by fetish objects? Okay, but that's very interesting stuff. Alright, so what do we do with this radio? Oh god, so many buttons and knobs to uh, press and pull. An audio tape tech unit wired up to the broadcasting unit. If I had an audio cassette, I could probably have its contents broadcast on the radio. A small radio broadcasting unit. It's set up to broadcast a tape deck's input signal on frequency 142 uh, kHz. Mm, okay. So I don't do I need to do anything here? Okay, so we so we need an audio tape. Can we let's use the radio here? So it was so it was 142, right? Hmm. Nothing. So I guess we do need a cassette tape. All right. And uh, now where? Is there any other dark rooms? <coughs> Excuse me. So repair bay and the shooting range. We have already been there. On the seventh floor, the pr that that's the protector office. We have been there, and even lower, ADL ADLR bedroom. Okay, we can go there, and also STCR dorm. Oh yeah, we, we oh yeah we were there earlier, I think. Well. Let's go down there. Luckily, we just happen to have this shaft or lift that can take us down. Mm -hmm. Does the game pause when I do this? Uh, apparently so, yes. Okay, I really don't feel like wasting my time on you. Okay, there's no reason to... Uh, go up there anymore. Oh, guess I wasn't fast enough. What's my health situation? Ah, it's fine ish. Okay, so we have been here already. Oh, and I should actually use this. Yes, we have been here, but... Oh, crap. Do I have any... Hmm, I don't have any shotgun. I'm not, I'm not carrying any extra shotgun ammo, so... Let's not pick that one up. Okay, so... Oh, hi. Two for one deals. You know how much I love those. Hummingbird key required. I got uh, three more shots. And I also got the revolver as well. Okay, so AD... Oh, is it HDLR? Well, whatever, it's a bedroom. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh yes, this leads to Adler's office, I believe. And we have read this, haven't we? Replica overview, ATLR. Administration, logistic replica, Adler. Administration, data processing, log logistics, replica, Eagle. Uh, type generation, 5 high command specialist. Frame, biomechanical with polyethylene, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, shell and titanium skeleton, height 175 centimeters. An integral part of every protector, Führung's commando, is the administrator unit. A single ADLR unit can manage and oversee all administrative tasks for an entire facility, free in other operational command units to focus on the direct control of protector units. The Adler is designed to work as a direct counterpart to the Falke unit, serving her as adjutant by taking care of necessary paperwork and calculations. Okay. And there's nothing else interesting here, is there? Yes, we have seen this poster before. And this requires an eagle key. Surprise to no one. Okay, um... There's also the mine shaft over there, but we don't have the key for that. That requires the hummingbird key. So where can we go next? Library hallway. Have we, have, we haven't tried to open that door yet, have we? It's grey. Well, let's go and check it out if we can open it. Sup, nerds. Let's see, there, there isn't any other... Any other door that I haven't tried to open. No, just that one over there. How did I miss this? Library key required. Ah, of course. Okay, well... Where can we go from here? Any other doors that I have missed? Hmm? Ah, oh, those are just elevator. Okay. Why they are so far away over there? Oh wait, I'm, I'm looking at the first floor. Hmm. Rolling shutter uh, gate. I need a special key for that as well. I have been in these two dark rooms already. <coughs> Excuse me. And what? What door is that? I don't remember. But I don't have the key for it, I'm quite sure. This is the fifth floor. Okay. And there, there's nothing in, else interest, interesting there. What about the... Hmm, surgery. This is the fourth floor. Can we even get back up to the floors where we were uh, knocked down from earlier by Adler? I'm not sure if we can. We can't... Uh, the staircases won't reach that far up. Okay, folks, I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure that where to go from here next. Hmm, what room, what room was this? Okay, um, I completely missed this. I completely missed this. This must be about the Falke units. Replica overview, FKLR. Falke. Operational Command Control Unit Replica Falcon. Type Generation 6 High Tech Bioresonance Command Unit. Frame Biomechanical with Polyethylene Shell and Bullet Resistance Armor Plating. Height 250 cm. Damn, these ones are tall. Classified information, Commander Eyes only. To protect the Furious Commandos Commander, the head of each Eon facility's protector force is a powerful prototype bioresonant Falke unit, an authority that may never be questioned. A Falke unit serves not just as a commander to the protectors, but as a nearly godlike being, a perception that is underlined by her tall build and resemblance to our nation's leaders, the great revolutionary and her daughter. 
interesting. It is also aided by her powerful prototype bioresonance module. Something tells me that we are going to need that module, which not only allows her to bend the will of weaker minds and fathom their intentions and emotions. Now that would be very badass if we could do that too. But also grants her the ability to manipulate objects from a distance. Okay, that sounds really, really cool. Oh, hi. And goodbye. Oh. What do we have here? That's a healing item, item over there. Which I might as well pick it up now. Hmm, two of them. I kind of wanted only one, but medium amount of health instantly. Okay, we. I might as well. I might as well use the other one as well immediately. How many? Uh, I got 19 of these, so I can't carry more handgun ammo. Well, I can pick up, pick only one more uh, uh, bullet. Three. Hmm. Wait, I picked picked it up. Oh wait, I didn't pick pick up all of it. What is this? Folkes Diary. 8421A. I don't know how much longer I can go on. I do not want to live anymore as what I have become. The red eye beyond the gate showed me. No, touched me. Poisoned me. It feels like my mind has been contaminated, defiled by another person's memory. I'm no longer fully myself anymore but I have not fully become someone else either. I'm stuck here, between her and me, with half-formed dreams and recollections penetrating my brain and tainting my every action. Who is she? Who is that white-haired girl? Why do I long to see her again? Why would she curse me like this? I believe we have seen glimpses of that white-haired girl as well. Can we see the vitals? I guess not. There's a prod here, but we can't pick it up. Hmm, what's this? A heavy box fashioned to look like an owl. There are small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Interesting, can we... Well, I know that we are full. Our inventory is full, but can we at least try to take it, uh, take it out? This must be the key or... Or a way to get the owl key. Is there anything else in this room that I'm missing? Uh, focus box? Uh, oh, can we use the radio here? Hmm. I guess it's not, it's not the right frequency. Okay, well, there's nothing else that I can do here or pick up. Well, let's... Let's use this away. I still can't pick it up even though I have a free, a free inventory slot. Small holes at the top looking like a speaker or a microphone. Do we need to say the right password or something to make this uh, thing open? Okay, let's check our uh, notes and documents here that we have picked up. Hmm. Management office on the second floor. That island, yeah, we have opened that already. Feedback loop of, loop of the frequency of her control signal? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Not sure if we have any... If we have picked up any, any notes that could help us here. Yeah, it does... It kind of, it kind of does look like an owl. Now that I look at it cl more closely. Okay. So do we need to figure out the right uh, radio frequency 
and this box hears it and then it opens. Because there is no keyholes or anything on this thing. Well, let's see. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to look at the notes. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, turn it off. Okay, not sure what to do about this. But maybe there's some more more rooms that we have missed. Or more, spe or more specifically, rooms that I have missed. I mean, I missed this one entirely. And I've been playing for quite a while now, so I think I should end the episode here as well. But I also feel like I want to get that owl thing from this Falke unit. Well, at the very least, I should... Uh... Well, we have plenty of handgun ammo already with us as it is, so... Let's pick up this healing item with us. And at the very least, let's go to the safe room and put the... Oh, get out. There's no, no other rooms here, okay. So let's go back to the safe room. I put all this shit that I don't need uh, to the item box. We can't go over from here, can we? No. So let's go and take the items to the item box and see what we do from there. Oh yeah, we have this thing as well. I forgot about this. But I I still don't know or remember that, that where we had to use this. Where was it that we needed this? Not sure. Was it was it a specific shaft somewhere? Or an elevator or Well, I don't remember like I said. But you know what? I'm gonna look for the I'm gonna look for the place where we needed to uh, use this. Let's see, inspect. I can use this to open a shuttered door. Shuttered door. Well, let's look for that shuttered door, I guess. Even though I should end the episode here, but... Eh, let's at least look for that door so I know what to do in the next episode. Oh, there we go. It was this. Okay, we got a safe room here as well. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I can end this episode here. What is this? Owl key. Okay, so the... So this owl key was not in that owl-shaped uh, boombox thingy that the Falke unit was uh, holding. Eula unit. Replica overview. E-U-L-R. Einfach universale leichte replica. Eula. Simple universal light replica. Owl. Type generation 4. Low cost general purpose. Frame biomechanical with polyethylene shell. Height 175 cm. EULR units are the backbone of the Yusan nation's workforce. These elegant multipurpose worker units are suited for all kinds of domestic tasks like cleaning, cooking and simple medical and office work. Yulis are highly social and get along well with each other as well as most other replica models. While unfit for combat, their lightweight frame makes them a prime choice for distant facilities where supplies are limited. Okay. Anything... Well, there's item box there, but anything else in this room that we that we should pick up? Anything useful? I guess not. Okay, what do we? Hmm. I kind of want to keep this revolver and use this, am this this ammo because we got plenty of this ammo left. We got uh, is that 12 shots uh, in in this item box alone? So I kind of want to want to hold on to this revolver and this ammo here as as well as the shotgun. Or should I just get rid of the shotgun for now? Let's just get rid of the shotgun for now. So we have two free slots here. So in the next episode, let's go and use this key on the owl door and see where that leads us. And maybe we can figure out that how to, that what to do with that owl shaped, well not owl shaped, but still owl looking boombox thingy.
And of course we save here. I saved earlier there just in case off screen, but we are gonna do it again. It's uh, this one, right? So yeah, let's do that in the next episode and go to the... Where is the owl room anyway? Is it... Uh, it must be on it must be on some other floor, but I don't remember where exactly. But we'll find out in the next episode. So until then. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Signalis.